Thank you, Eric. Uh, thank you. Uh, it's my great pleasure to be in Madrid to speak, give you the sneak preview of the study that we're going to present this afternoon in the Presidential Symposium. This is my disclosure. Now, the title of this study is called Impress, and then it is a comparison of the continuation of gefitinib with chemotherapy versus chemotherapy in the EGF mutation positive patient after they fail the first line EGFR TKI. Now, why we do that? I mean, we actually, uh, in Presidential Symposium 2008, present the IPAS study that established the use of first-line EGFL TKI, which is compared to chemotherapy, having a longer progression-free survival and a higher response. But then, after 10 months or more, the patient almost always progressed. But at the time of progression, Doctor logically have two choices. Option one is just to discontinue the EGFR TKI and go on with the standard doublet chemotherapy. Option number two is to continue with the TKI and then add on the chemotherapy. The reason to support the second one is simply for the fact that there are potential tumor heterogeneity, meaning that there are cancer cells that are still sensitive to the EGFR TKI in mix of the resistant clones. And also, there are some uh, retrospective studies demonstrating that once you stop the TKI, there are flare phenomena. So this is why we designed the in-press study to say whether it's a good thing to do or not a good thing to do to continue TKI when we switch to chemotherapy. And then the median duration of treatment is actually quite adequate. Actually, I'm missing the slide on the study design. Um, hmm. Yeah, that's one, that should be one slide on the study design which is missing. But that's okay, I can describe to you. So the, upon the uh, patient who are, have to be EGFR mutation positive, they must actually have a exposure to the EGFR TKI gefitinib. They must have a complete or partial response for over four months, or they have stable disease for six months, just to make sure they could benefit from the TKI. And then they also have to be randomized within four weeks, such that they will have the continuation of the TKI within the study. And then once they are eligible, they randomize to the standard chemotherapy of uh, pemetrexate, cisplatinum, with the gefitinib, or just to pemetrexate, cisplatinum. The primary endpoint is progression-free survival. This is the medium duration of treatment, five cycle, which means that they are adequately and well taken. Now on the response rate, there is no significant difference. 31.6% versus 34% has a blood ratio of 0.92, P-value is 0.76, no difference whatsoever. And this is the slide that you need to take a picture of. Unfortunately, it's negative study. So IMPRESS is not so impressive after all. The median progression free is 5.4 versus 5.4, hazard ratio 0.86, and then with the P-value of 0.273. So in other words, continuation of TKI is no longer uh, beneficial to the patient once they had the progression they should just go on with the chemotherapy at this point. But then there is a slight concern with the uh, over survival. I mean, there is actually a potential detrimental effect, but then the maturity of the, the of survival data is only 33%. So we cannot take it too seriously, uh, but then you have to know that there are potential 14.8 months versus 17.2 months. So the, we also look into the number of covariate analysis, which include the age, the so-called the, um, the brain metastases, as well as the uh, prior exposure to the TKI. And for that, there's no significant difference between the two different epoch of analysis. But one important reason that may contribute to the overall survival difference is the fact that there are actually more doublet platinum in the placebo arm, and also there are more TKI exposure after the study with the placebo arm. So they may potentially account for the difference in the overall survival. Toxicity-wise, there's no additional toxicity. And so in conclusion, I think the IMPRESS is the first randomized phase three study that established the fact that the continuity of gefitinib beyond progression when you switch to chemotherapy is no longer an acceptable practice. Overall survival is immature. Potential contribution factor is the fact that there may be a difference in the post-study exposure to the different medication, including chemotherapy and TKI. So, it is a negative study, but it certainly helped the doctor to decide what is the right thing to do next, which is a standard doublet chemotherapy. Thank you.